Hey everyone, we are in Kennedy Hall, which was my freshman dorm. And I wanted to come in to see how much the lobby had changed. I won't say not so much. I don't think it's changed a lot. Um, other than, of course, the furniture is more modern. But those were the doors where I went up um, to my room. There was always an office right there um, where the RA sat. Um, so it hasn't changed a lot other than, oh, I, I have a trusty, dusty um, tutor who is our tour guide. Her name is Michaela Maxwell. There she goes, okay. She, she's a home girl. Her mama's one of my sores. So I was leaning on the shield, as she likes to say. So tell us about Kennedy. Ken Kennedy. Look, I don't know much about Kennedy. I was supposed to live in Kennedy my freshman year, but that didn't happen. So, but yeah, Kennedy's like one of the smaller dorms for freshman girls. Like there's other ones that are really big, but Kennedy's rather small. So, so BC is, we know this but BC is broken up into two like areas where the old cafeteria used to be, that is where VC Suites is. And VC Suites is like top tier premium housing. And then the rest of it is like normal housing. So like where it probably was called like VC Annex and stuff like that, but that's where VC Suites is located. Big rooms, which I was in them. This is the back of VC though. The front looks more like the front. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we are here at the front of VC. And we can still see that we are living by our home by the sea. It's a little chilly today, y'all. So you can't expect a whole bunch of people to be out. And then, of course, we still have Harvey's house. Um, so I guess my question is, is he gonna move? Uh, Michaela says no because he's lived there for 40 years. And this is the front of Twitchell. Any comments on the dorms? Regular? Regular. Regular dorm job. Oh, look, you're a trendsetter now. Hold on. Across the street. Not across the street, but like right there. I don't even know that I have friends that lived in Kelsey. Twitchell, yes. VC, uh, VC yes. And definitely Kennedy. So here you have Mary G. Christian, who's here to greet us in the circle along with Clarence Jack Curry. Oh, you can't see him, can you? Hey, I went too far. There we go. There he is with his hands himself. And then this behind them is the trustee house. Alumni house. Alumni house. Okay, cut that out, Mace. This is the alumni house. <laughs> and here is McGrew Towers. This was like a phenomenon when I was in school between 1986 and 1990. Um, it had elevators, it had air. Um, it basically was kind of where you wanted to be um, if you were uh, accustomed to that apartment living. The rooms were really small as I can remember them. They are small and it's not an apartment. It's just a very small door. Oh, it's just a very small door, she said. Okay. For those of you who lived in the modulars, this should look familiar. I understand when when I was in school, people were almost fight to live here. I understand it's the hype is over. But it's okay. They got better dorms coming. 
Okay, so this is the best female dorm on campus. It is called Gladys Hope Franklin White Hall, but it's referred to as White Hall. And um, my guide says that even the males know that this is the best dorm to live in. Um, would you say roomy, uh, spacious? The first and second floors have a lot of space. The third and fourth floors have plants on the wall, so. But they still have more space than McGrew. After I heard the elevator be breaking in McGrew. So. For all you old heads, look at how you can see the back of the buildings now. And how everything just seems to be so crowded in together. It most certainly didn't look like that when we were in school. I saw another man doing, he was doing a tour too, and he was recording it. And he said, well, this is where the small cap is, and this is where the large cap was. And I was like, he is really showing his age. This is Holmes Hall, and it is the brother to White Hall. Now, I know times have changed, because I remember when all the male dorms were on one side of campus and all the female dorms were on the other side of campus. And we had a curfew. They, a curfew they still year. are, but this is the only exception. My freshman year was online, so I didn't have a curfew. But freshmen this year got off curfew on Wednesday. How long was the curfew? I mean, what time the curfew was? Regular, like 11, like 11 on the weekdays, probably like one in the morning on the weekend. Believe it or not, this used to be the library. Um, it is now a museum. But if we turn slightly to the left, those who are familiar with Hampton should know exactly where this is. This is Ogden Hall. This is where we had our class meetings. Believe it or not, uh, there was a year or two we slept on the steps all night long in order to get a number for our room allotment. Now I'm really showing my age. And the first thing they told us the first day that we were here as, as students was that if you ran across this circle, that would be an omen that you would not graduate. And my mom, when I told my mom that, she was like, I want you to stay as far away from that circle as you possibly can. So this is still the admin building and everybody should recognize the clock. Um, Michaela tells me that there is no longer the beauty and barbershop down in the bottom of, I'm not sure what hall that was, but I have, I had, I did go and get my hair done. Um, and the laundry has shut down. So everybody's got to do their own laundry now. Okay, everybody, so we're in a section now called Legacy Park. So I'm going to show you a few statues without getting in people's <laughs> ways who are taking pictures. There's Harvey, and it's starting to rain, so bear with me. There's Harvey. Still on the edge of our home by the sea. Well, Obama's the sea. in here. Um, my Obama over there. That's probably Mary Smith Pete. He was teaching it up under the little oak tree. Love the feminist. Um, oh, wait. I got to see. Hey, how much do you keep my man? What's happening? Sir, thank you for your service. You rocked it out. I 
This is Mary Jackson. And this is our champion, Martin Luther King. And this is Armstrong. And look what we're in front of, the chapel. Let me tell you, the gospel choir was rocking. It's really cool. Ooh, um, Reverend Battle, Michael Battle was here. He was the bomb. He was the bomb. So we're on the other side of campus. And like I said, if you're old school, you remember the girls are on Ooh. the left-hand side and boys are on the right-hand side. And how about the freshman class is so large that Moton fluctuates between being a boy's dorm and a girl's dorm. There's, here's the academy building. Back up so you can see. The Academy building. The ROTC building is still back in the cut. And there's Dubose Hall. So Stone Building is still here. Um Unfortunately, I spent a lot of time there the last two days before graduation. They somehow got my paperwork wrong and said that I was missing a class. And the people in Stone became my best friend. It's, it is an administrative play, uh, building, but it also couples as a dorm. So the older boys' dorms are tucked in the back. So what you're seeing now is James Hall. And if you look closely, I'm trying to focus in so you can see it. Where the stack is, that's where Harkness is. The majority of my crew that was male lived in Harkness. Um, they even had a, I want to say it's a fifth floor and uh, they had a special name for it. It wasn't, it wasn't a con the penthouse, it was the penthouse. And the coolest dudes, of course, you know, I focus, you know, my friends are the coolest dudes, but the coolest dudes lived in the penthouse. ROTC building. So this is what the campus looks like standing on Huntington Road. You can still see Kennedy. You can see a piece of VC. Um, what would have been the library, the, now the museum, um, the flags for Ogden. And I wanna let you know, it's out here, it's not pouring, but these people are still walking out here like, like the sun is shining. And they speak, I like that, they speak to each other. Okay, so here is a note for progress. Both of these buildings, so you look at the color of the building. So you see the reddish building, and then you see a yellowish building. Both of them entertain uh, science majors. One is biology and the other is chemistry. That's all right. Hey everybody, so this is Wigwam. I almost forgot about it. When she said, I was like, oh my goodness. And she said, it is still an administrative building. And see there, you can see Holly Tree back there. And everybody knows the connection with Rosa Parks, right? And I used to live in the dorm next door. Oh my God, those dorm rooms were huge. We had our own bathroom. My roommate ended up moving out at, because she went to ODU. I pushed both the beds together. I could have had a small party up in there. It was wonderful. I understand it's not like that now. I probably should have taped what I saw from the back. Um, I said to Michaela, I said, uh, oh, is this still maintenance? She said, no, this is now the administrative building where financial aid is. What the, what the, who knew? It's called Whipple Barn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is Armstrong. Um, 
just a little trivia for you. I was the only English education major out of 7,000 students. So often there were classes just for me. Um, I just think that they didn't know what to do with me, poor thing. Um, so I spent a lot of time here in Armstrong and across the street at Phoenix. So Armstrong were used for um, mass media and your English classes. And then your education was over in Phoenix. So therefore I had to straddle two, business, two buildings. So here is a research building. Oh, okay. Wait, she, she's not sure what goes on in that building. However, here is Phoenix Hall. It looks the same. Nothing's changed. And I remember my mom and I going on, I guess we went on a little tour when we first got to campus. And this was outside of freshman day. And we took one look at Phoenix and we saw that there was no indoor like central air my mom was like i don't know if this is the place for us <laughs> she was like but i sent in a deposit so it's too late they still have the childhood center mitchell hall i'm at oh my goodness because this is the student center go ahead look at this will you oh my goodness now this alone would, would make me want to go here. Wow. Impressive. Okay, now I could definitely see where, um, how and why people raise money to go to school. Look at that. I wish we had had something like that. It's like a little canteen in there. Is there a restaurant in it? But this is, this part is. Okay. Right where? Oh, I see. Okay. It's raining, y'all, so I'm not going to take a picture. Uh, but shout out to my sores of Delaware, uh, Delta Sigma Theta. You can tell I, I got Delaware State on the brain. Um, yeah, I took a lot of psychology classes out here. Yeah, so this is MLK and Buckman. And what do they know? Same thing. Yeah, same thing. That looks the same. And here is Holland Hall. This is where our basketball games were. This is uh, where I took gym. You had to have gym. Uh, I took aerobics. That woman was hot. She was she was the bomb. That was before aerobics was really in. Once again, telling my age. So the same way, I'm just going to make a connection. Re remember, if you look back at Delaware State's um, tour that I did, I mentioned Jerome Hall. And I told you that he also had ties to Hampton. So this building is named after him. To be frank, I really thought that he would have been part in, of the uh, of the Legacy Garden. And this is the engineering building. We definitely didn't have that when I was here. So this is the softball field. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. Is the convocation center? Yes, convocation graduation. Oh wow! Mhm. Mm you can see who's been out here, can't you? I wonder what fraternity that is. Yeah, they had like six tables, <laughs> so. I'm just showing you while we ride around. And the campus had a whole tent. <laughs> so this is the back of Holland. Yep. 
I recognize this. Oh, can we see? Yes. You want to roll down the window? Oh, I guess so. I don't want you to get wet. It is what it is. I'm going to be out here anyway. Because apparently my cousin has got mixed up. <laughs> Tennis, tennis court, court which looked nothing like wow look at that they didn't have seating that's awesome and then you see the student center from that too Ooh. and the football field I'm trying to get close up so you can see more than the trash can y'all okay Please forgive my taping. It's it's raining. It's raining, raining. So and I and, and I know how important it is to you all that you get this video. So we might have to do a repeat at another time. But I just want to give you a feel of what's going on on the campus because I've gotten so many um, requests for this this tour. This is still the infirmary. She calls it the health center. The health center. Here is the Scripps Howard School of Journalism and Communications. Now this beats the Armstrong for communications. I mean, yeah, you, you can't beat that with a stick. That's, and here, da 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 da, is the calf. Amazing. And what do you eat in there? Other than food. What kind of food? Like, is there Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A is in the student center. Okay. Um, stuff like Chick-fil-A, like Pirate's Grill, that's in there in the student center. And the calf is like calf food. So like sometimes we've had seafood boils. We have new cafeteria staff, so our food is a little better. But we've had like seafood boils. The pasta station's open. We have salad bar. A lot of chicken. But... We had oxtail, um, oxtails and turkey wings one Sunday, and it was good. It was good. I'm not one to hype up the calf, but them turkey wings were good at that one day. So good. Well, nothing can replace our friends. Always good.